Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss how to skip blanks when graphing in Microsoft Excel right here. And uh, well, I'm using Microsoft Excel 2007, but this tutorial should work for any other Microsoft version. So what I mean by skipping blanks, let's say I have this, I made this table here, this X and Y axis right here, this blue line, this blue uh, in the legend here, this blue is the Y axis, that's this column right here, and this red is the cumulative which is just basically the sum at, at each point right here. So this one's going to be a 3. This is going to equal to 2 plus 3, or C6 plus D5, the cells. It's going to be 4 plus 5. So it's always this. It's always the left of it plus the top of it. And this last one's always just the sum of all these ones, or 5 plus 16. And we just graph that out right here. So this is a calculated uh, column right here. This one is just a given data. But in this case, there's blanks right here. So there's blanks, but now in the graph, for some reason, Excel skips the blank but doesn't connect the dots right here. So we just have these two dots for these uh, the blanks where it's, where it's skipped right here. Now, just uh, to clarify, I uh, just wanted to get make sure that you understand. If you put it in a space, this is not considered a blank. It's considered a space, and when you're uh, basically when you graph it, it becomes a zero. It graphs at a zero, and the lines connect. Also, let's put a space here, so as you can see, it goes to zero and the lines are connected, but the function here, this calculated value, it gives a hashtag error value right here, this hashtag value uh, uh, error right here, and it, so what it's saying is you can't add these up here, so it's adding a space with a 9, and also if you have the letter A, it still can't do it, so any, basically any letter, text, etc., it's just going to give this value here when you're adding it here, but it's still considered a 0, even this letter A or D, let's say, or whatever this one is, so it's considered as zero and it lines connected here. But let's go back to this uh, this uh, blanks. If I just deleted them, now we have a blank. But let's say I want to connect these but not make it a zero. And the way to do that, you could just input uh, hashtag n slash a, which is an error value, and it means error, it means number not available. So as you see, the lines are connected, but now you have this error value in this calculation here. So you can't calculate these, but it graph it just skips it when you graph it. So we've done the skipping one for non-calculated values. Let's even you could also write equals n a and all this does is give this error value n slash a. As you can see the lines are connected. So yeah so you could basically connect the lines and it's not a zero here. So now to to deal with this calculated column, well what you what you could do is actually use an if statement. So what we could do is to say if there's this is an error then basically make it a zero here instead of uh, a number here when we're graphing. So then right here as you see, as you see again, it's skipped here. Even in the calculated column right here, it's completely ignored these uh, hashtag n slash a right here. So let's what we could do right here is using an if statement. I just want to go first what you shouldn't do. So let's say if uh, if you've used an if statement, uh, this will make a lot more sense. But if you haven't, I'm going to do another video later on. But it's pretty easy. You just uh, you just make a logical test, and if it's true, so all you can do is if bracket. Let's say if c6 is equal to n slash a and then if it is equal to n slash a let's make it equal to zero and then if it isn't equal to n so we have to do another column if it isn't let's just make it equal to c6 instead uh, six right here oh six so I keep messing up there's so no and bracket right here so all this is saying is if the c6 cell is equal to n slash uh, hashtag n slash a make it equal to zero Otherwise, make it C6, and we just add up to D5. And then scroll this down. But now you see the problem here is still giving an error here, because the reason this is giving an error, because you cannot deal with it in just using these equal sign or this addition of the uh, this error value plus a number. You can't basically calculate it. And the way to do that, because it's an error value, so the way to get around this here, what you could do is use the is error function, so I-S-E-R-R. -R. O R and if you read this one, it just checks whether value is an error or hashtag n slash a hashtag value, etc. All these other errors, I'm not gonna go over those, but this one all you have to worry about. And returns true if there is one of these values in the cell, and false if there isn't right here. So you go is error. Now we can write c6 and bracket. So if c6 the cell is an error, it will be considered as zero. If it isn't an error it will be considered as whatever C6 is. And then we then you add up whatever this is plus with D5. And now now the, thing, the reason we're doing this 
is again to get rid of this and uh, hashtag n slash a and make it equal to zero so we can actually graph it. So equals, as you can see, there's a five because the reason is because it's not an error, so we just make it equal to two plus this three. Scroll this down like this, and there you go. It's it's ignored. Uh, so basically, it's made whatever this one is since it's an error. It's returning. It's going to be returning true, and if it's returning, returning true, we return this number zero. We ignore this part because it's true. This is only if it's false, and then you add d seven, which is nine right here, and nine plus zero is nine, as etc. So basically, as you can see, the graph all looks nice right here. We've skipped the blanks in both the calculated and the regular input here. So this regular input is calculated. Graphs look nicer. Well, it's all for today. Uh, I just wanted to go over this because actually a couple days ago I was doing a doing an assignment for school and uh, this came up that some blanks at the graph so I'm like I was trying to figure out how to do it I'm, I'm like it's a probably a good video to show uh, you guys also I've made a, a word document with some notes on this empty cell what it is any non number how what charts consider the functions the hashtag n slash a also I just made this notes is error function if function and you could download this in the Dropbox link below as well as that Excel file I also have this. Uh, this way of writing the if statement using the error function, it's wrong. If you use the equals, you have to use the is error, etc. Well, that's all for today. Remember, you could uh, download these uh, this notes and the Excel, etc. in the Dropbox link below. And that's all for today. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.